Welcome in this short video in the quick application guide I'm going to answer a question we frequently get from clients of and that question is can I use the risk products within rent facts to evaluate uh, apartment buildings small unit apartment buildings so um, the short answer is of course and yes and I'm going to walk you through just a quick example of how I've done that. So we're looking at a smaller uh, unit count apartment buildings, say 20 and fewer units. Uh, here I've run an address of a smaller unit uh, apartment building here through the report screen and I'll pull that report back up. In the report, we can see the two risk scores, and I encourage you to go watch some other videos to explain what those risk scores mean, but we see that this location exhibits relatively high risk or a low income stability. But more importantly, let me show you in a map. Um, I'm going to zoom in on this particular location. Again, <clears throat> in the map view, we can see the boundaries of the census tract and this is the location of the property. Um, again, the shading is correspondent to the, the risk spectrum. When we zoom in on this particular area, what we can start to see is there's a mix of homes as outlined here, and then these longer strips here and here are apartment buildings, small unit apartment buildings. So if I'll just go ahead and drop my down to the street view and we can see here um, some apartment buildings. Um, these actually happen to be some boarded up windows on this particular one, but I guess scoring down in the teens, maybe that might be uh, reflective of, of the risk associated with the neighborhood. But we can see that these are small unit apartment buildings. And again, uh, appears to be a three level, uh, probably six units access through a single door. So we may be looking at about 18 units on this building. But I'm going to go down the street a little bit here. And again, we see <clears throat> uh, another small uh, apartment complex. So more than a, a fourplex or duplex, but uh, you know, not a large complex. Uh, still in the same. Uh, census track. I'm going to go up one one more further <clears throat> and you can see we start to get into uh, single-family homes. I think what's of interest here is um, on this particular single-family home back here again overgrown this happens to be boarded again so these common characteristics of uh, tenant dem demographics and the behavior pattern of tenants that reside in this census track whether it be within a single family home as we're seeing this or as we went right back up the street uh, <clears throat> and, and looked at some of these smaller apartment complexes, uh, these uh, behavior patterns of, of uh, tenants and in, in, in the performance of rental properties uh, is comparable across a small unit count apartment complex or a single family home. So I hope you find that this uh, video to be helpful in guiding you if you are exploring uh, branching out maybe from your residential uh, single family investments to a small count apartment complex. I think you'll find that the risk index and the risk products within rent facts will uh, give you the same uh, benefits that they would when you're exploring your single family properties. Thank you. Thank you.